Hi everyone, this is Germinal Van. Now we're moving to Econometrics 2, which means that we are leveling up. So we are going to talk today about the polynomial regression, which is a more uh, complicated uh, kind of regression analysis. So let me first say that the, poly the polynomial regression is a linear and a non-linear regression. Of course, this sounds as a contradiction as a paradox but in the moment you will understand why I say that the polynomial regression is actually both so today what I'm going to do is simply to give you an overview of the polynomial regression and next week I will uh, talk about the more technical aspect of the polynomial regression so you guys know that in the linear regression you have basically a scatter plot you have all the observations here and then you have a line passing through the observations that's a typical linear regression the polynomial regression you have something like this so you see here the trend of the observations it's curvy so it gives you something like this so you see that it's a as we call it curvy linear it's a curvy linear regression pretty much that's what the polynomial regression is and for those who remember in high school in math we always have what we call the parable so the parable starts with always with x square that's why it goes like this so this is that's what a polynomial regression looks like it's never a straight line that's why the polynomial regression is respectively a non-linear regression so you remember that the linear the simple linear regression the model was x equals uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 times x and of course the standard error the polynomial regression you have the following model x equal beta 0 plus beta 1 times uh, times x plus beta 2 times x 1 squared plus the standard error let me put it here there we go so you see that we have we have added a uh, another uh, predictor we have added another predictor on top of the initial predictor and that predictor has been squared up and the reason why we squared it up, it's because the trend of the observation is a curvy linear. That is why. So whenever you observe a scatter plot and it has that kind of trend, you have to know that it is pretty much a polynomial re regression that you're going to apply to. And then this is simply for a, uh, let's say, a... Um, one independent variable and a one dependent variable it's kind of like a simple linear regression but for the polynomial so it's with one variable now you have also the multiple polynomial regression which is y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1 plus beta 2 times x1 squared plus beta 3 times x2 plus and then you have of course beta k times oops k up here so and then you have the standard error so what you need to know is that the polynomial regression always start as a quadratic as a quadratic uh, form of statistical equation because it contains up here a power contains it's up to power two that's why it's quadratic if you have a polynomial regression that goes i don't know to uh, uh beta three times x to power three that would be a cubic and if you have i don't know beta four times x x power of four times three uh on the three something like that 
you will see that this is, this is a quartic. So you have, let me clean that a little bit. So you basically have a quadratic, cubic, and quartic. So quadratic is x power 2, cubic is x power 3, and quartic is x power 4. So this is how you know. So it depends, of course, of the kind of regression, uh, of the kind of data, sorry, that you're dealing with. And based on that, you will know if, you, if it's a multiple polynomial regression you're going to apply or not. So now I'm going to show you guys the assumptions of the polynomial regression. So what are these assumptions? So there are four main assumptions that, um, that uh, demonstrate that it's a polynomial regression. But before I start the assumptions, I want you to know that the reason why it is linear and nonlinear is because beta 1 here is the linear parameter. The coefficient is the linear parameter. And then you have beta 2, which is the quadratic parameter. That's why it is linear and nonlinear. It is linear because at the end of the day, the coefficient still have still follow a, a linear trend. It's just that it is not a straight line like the typical linear regression, but it is a linear trend that is curvy. That's why it is linear and nonlinear. Now, when we move to the assumptions, there are four assumptions, as I said. The first is that uh to know if it's the polynomial regression you have to look at the behavior between the between uh the dependent and independent variables So you have to look at the behavior. What is the behavior? What, what do we mean here by the behavior? We simply mean the trend. You have to look at the trend. And based on that, if it's like linear or curvy or, you know, basically linear or curvy linear, then you know that you can possibly use the polynomial regression. If it's curvy, it's definitely the polynomial regression that you're going to use. The second um, assumption is you look for collinearity. Collinearity. You have to make sure there are no collinearity. So collinearity simply means that you have two independent variables that two independent variables that are pretty much dependent of one another. So if you have that, that's not good. You have to make sure that the independent variables are actually independent from one another. So the the observations, the value of the observation should not do, should not have a link. They should be completely separate. So you have to look for collinearity. If it's a multiple linear regression, you're going to look for multi collinearity. The third, you have to look for independence. So independence of the variables. When I say variables, of course, I mean the independent variables and the fourth and last you have to look for the independence of the errors too you have to make sure that the errors are independent errors are independent sorry for my hand right but uh if you if your if those four assumptions are fulfilled then you can use the polynomial regression.
So next week, I am going to talk about the more technical aspect of the polynomial regression, what I, which is what I said earlier. I will talk about the hier hierarchical order of the polynomial regression. So thank you very much, guys, for uh, following me and for checking out my econometrics videos. Please do not forget to like and to subscribe and to share with those who are interested in statistics and econometrics. This is great help and your support will help me continue to make this video so thank you very much guys and till next time